in this video we will talk about some built-in classes that will help us to convert the data from one type to another let's talk about that so here i'm going to remove this entire code now and now let's come to our first program which was this where a is equals to console dot read line and in the b you are having this again console dot read line and here in this output window i was simply having this a plus b if i will run this program then you will get instead of getting the sum we are getting the combination of both of them so if i'm passing one and then the two i'm getting 12 but i need three over here in this output screen and how is that possible it is possible only if i will convert this value this is a string value to the integer over here right then only it will work and we can convert this string value to this integer by using two approach first is we can use the convert class and in this convert class we are having multiple methods if you will press 2 then you can notice you will have the method of almost all the types here i am interested in this integer so you can notice we are having this int 16 int 32 and this int 64 i need to work on this int 32 like this and inside this int 32 this is basically a method here i have to pass one value and remember what is the type the type is this string value right like this and if you will hold your mouse on this variable a then this time you will notice that it is of type integer let's try to implement the same concept over here on this variable b also right like this and if i will run this application again then this time you will notice we are getting three here in this output and we are getting this output because this time this a and b both of them are integer so this is how we can convert the values from one type to another let's quickly have a look on this what is this two int method at this place you can notice inside this convert.cs class we are having this two int 32 method let's right click choose this outlining and collapse to definitions you can notice we are having method of almost all types we can use this two boolean two boolean right two character then we can have this 2 s byte 2 byte to int 16 int 32 int 64 to single to double almost all the types are here right let's try to convert some more values so here let's assume that i'm having this string value and in this string value it is let's say c and here i'm having this true right so the value in this string c variable is true but i want to convert it to the boolean how to do that so here let's say i'm having this where let's say e or d is equals to i can use this convert dot to boolean right this one and in this boolean i can simply pass this c variable like this and here you will notice that in this d we are having this time this boolean so it will work exactly like we have the boolean value right if i right click over here and choose again this go to definition and this time you have to notice something carefully right there are different values that we can pass in these methods and there are different overloaded and the overrided version over here for example if you want to convert something float value in the character then you can use this method if you want to convert double value in this two character then you can use this two character method and basically you do not have to remember all these methods you can simply visit this class which is convert class and you can get all these methods you can convert almost all types from one to another now there is one more way to convert these types from one to another let's just simply cut it all these types that we have in c sharp programming language for example integer long character boolean all of them have one parse method we can use that parse method also how to work on that so let's assume that i want to convert this string value to the integer by using the parse method how to do that here i have to use this int dot and we can use this parse method let's do the same thing over here as well so we are having this int dot parse and we are basically passing some string value over here and we are converting that value to this a and b variable let's try whether it is working or not so here i'm passing one two and we are getting three in the output window so what is the difference in between this convert class and in this parse method if you have noticed one thing earlier we were not having this green line over here but now we are having one green line at this particular place it is saying possible null reference argument the problem with this parse method is that if you will pass null over here then you will get an exception for example if i'm passing null at this place right and just run this application you can notice we are getting the exception it is saying value cannot be null but on the other hand if i'm having the previous method which was convert dot 2 int 32 and just comment this line 
remove this line as well i just want to see whether it works or not and here let's simply use this a let's run this application this time you can see there is no error and we are getting the default value which is zero over here in the same manner if let's assume that i want to convert this to the boolean for example to boolean and i'm passing null let's run this application this time you can notice we are getting false so what is the difference in between this parse and the convert class the difference is if you are using these convert classes and you are passing null over here then ultimately if the conversion is not possible then you will get only the default value if the conversion is possible then in that case both these methods will work same i hope the concept of converting data from one type to another is clear thank you for watching have a great day